Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome back to Eugenie Cross. We just finished doing the Marluxia event on my main account during stream, so if I sound a little bit tired during this video, I apologize about that now, but it is right now 5 o'clock in the morning, so I'm trying my best here <laughs> before I gotta go to bed. So, uh, we ended up being it, all of us got together, the chat was talking about some turtle setups, so you can turtle the entire event if you choose so, you just can't turtle every single turn. And I'm gonna give you guys some examples of medals you guys can use, I'm gonna give examples of medals that are gonna really shine here, to try to help you out and just some tips and advice as we go through so this might not help everyone but maybe you guys can pick up things from here and there that might help with your setup because everybody's setup is different that's obvious so you guys don't need to copy this setup a hundred percent because my setup is obviously uh going to be way different than yours and my sub sub slots are gonna be different from yours my attack boost maxes are gonna be different from yours so on so on but enough with all that let's jump in and talk about the event so you guys can see i full cleared it thank you to the stream to the stream as well for all the tips that you guys gave during the stream it was really fun i had an amazing time uh, but i'm going to go over a couple things that you need to do before you jump into this one union cross if you guys are not aware in union cross divine rose has a booster that's going to make this a lot easier for you that is right here fully complete this board so you can get your 60 0 0.60 boost here 0 0.30 and 0 0.10 that equals a whole 1.00 multiplier to your divine rose which is huge do not forget about your pet rank so i'm kind of going through everything that would help a uh, new player and also main players but your pet rank has a gear push that optimize button get the best metals in there to raise your pet rank as high as possible so now that multipliers are out of the way um well it's not fully out of the way there's one more you guys got to make sure you do this is to make sure your keyblade is up to date go to your sub slots and make sure you go through every speed and magic metal that you have and put the best ones into your sub slot this is my main account this keyblade's kind of ridiculous i'm at a 1.390 i'm no means whale i bought vip maybe once a month maybe once every two months so this isn't terribly but i have been playing for 940 days so I'll take that consideration but these tips can help you guys do a better setup so with all my sub slots there plus the booster i'm sitting at 5.3 5.2 multipliers and you guys can see the other multipliers under here are in the fours so there's a lot of power going on here but you don't need a lot of power to beat this event which is so great about it uh, the new medal itself marluxia and the nominated medals will definitely help during this event but you need tier 8 fairies or sorry yeah tier 8 fairies for the marluxia where nominate will just make your random slash single target medals do aoe damage and also provide some turtling because you guys are going to be able to turtle this event um, if you do it properly now if you look at my setup i ended up using uh, mrs incredible here and violet to turtle this because i don't have demix you guys can't really use zexing here unless you bring in a metal before it that raises counters by 20 on the enemy's counter so if you guys got those vip medals um that were there you guys can bring that in if you have extra attack on it raise the counters by 20 have in the first slot and then bring in zexian with extra attack or something like that just one attack you can carry over for two turns uh just to help with the turtling but the best bets here is mrs incredible mrs incredible by herself beat round 12 for me i didn't use uh violet i just used mrs incredible and i tanked the 12th one i'll show you guys examples in just a second but for 12 for number 13 i ended up using both of them with a second chance and i was able to beat this in five turns there's no time limit you just got to beat it so you don't need a massive amount of damage but you do need enough damage to get through those five to six rounds depending on how much you can turtle through you can't turtle world round one you can turtle round two you can't turtle round three you can do four and then so on and so on so I'm going to show you that in a second, but the main thing, if you guys are freshly new and you don't know what's going on, every buff and debuff in the game goes up to 7. You can lower the enemy's strength by 7. So when you look at Mrs. Incredible, right there it says negative 7 STR. That means negative 7 strength and negative 2 PSM strength. That's not too important because your Ky Kyries and Shion, they already do that. So you're getting that negative 7 strength on them enemy, which allows them to do so much less damage which will let you tank with a defense boost for max now if that's not enough 
you guys can put 800 HP traits in there. You guys can put Defense Boost 4 Max mixed with Defense Boost 6, but that's not necessary as long as you do have around a decent amount of defense as well. Defense does play a role in this. The more defense, the more you're able to survive, but not that big and not that important. So don't worry too much about that, but try to put the chip in the Dales and raise your medals 100 out of 100. Even the ones that are not going to be doing damage, having that defense in there is going to help survive a couple more hits. But Mrs. Incredible was enough for 12. So that's defensive strategy. You need a defensive side of your strategy. You need second chance. What you can see I have on here, just a basic second chance. And you need a defense boost for max. That's the bare minimum. And up to, 12, 12, up to quest 12, you guys can do this. Now, there is another medal in the game, which is Demix. And I'm going to go to the quest to show you guys what I'm talking about. Demix Kype or Demix Plus, depending if you're playing JP or Global, is a very amazing tanking medal. The only thing that's bad about him is that he's just that one target. So I do have my free-to-play account sharing Demix right now, just so I can show you guys. Here's Demix. So he has single target, he's only going to be able to tank Marluxia, so you have to kill the ads as soon as possible if you guys are using Demix, uh, just to make sure that you're lowering the enemy's, uh, what do you call it, strength down by 4. But when you look at it, there's multiple turns, Demix does last for 5 turns, so you can start hitting different roses and everything once you do 2 turns on Marluxia himself. So it's not like you totally need to do it all aoe but that's where nominee kicks in nominee will make him aoe but nominee also defensive metal herself so anyways if you just use demix and you can kill the rose the rose buds really really quick like on the first uh up to the second turn then you guys can tank this even third turn you guys can end up tanking it afterwards just try to kill the rose buds as fast as possible it will definitely help out uh, so everything else is pretty straightforward. My attack medals is a prime Riku versus Roxas. No traits. Phantom, 7 star, does have traits. And that's where the main issue is going to be where some people don't have a Phantom. But a prime Roxas versus Xion, um, any, any, any of your reverse medals, just get that damage in there as much as possible. And I am using Supernova Sephiroth here. You guys don't have to use Supernova Sephiroth. If you're using Prime Roxas versus Shion, bring your best copycat metal in here to copy uh, one of your friend's attacking medals. I just want to show you guys that I can tank number 13 with this setup. It's what I beat it with. The only issue is that I use second chance one and it's not fully leveled up. So the chances of second chance going off are very slim. Um, but all these things put together, uh, you also got to manage the enemy's counters. So that's where Demix comes in. That's where your buffers come in. Prime tier 5 medals ignore enemy's counters. And if you copy a friend's Supernova Sephiroth, you can also get through this pretty quickly. Now, this is only my main account. So I'm going to be coming up with a free-to-play setup very soon. It's just, again, 5 o'clock in the morning. I got to do my main account. And now I'm making this video. Got to go get some sleep. Take care of Penelope. When she takes her nap, I'll be doing my free-to-play setup in another video for you guys to kind of give you more ideas. But this is where we're going to talk about how to survive this. So after doing all these hits, you guys don't need negative 60 ground. It does help a lot to make this go by quicker, especially on the friend metal, but it's not necessary. Um, we are going to die here no matter what. We survive the Rosebuds, but we do not survive Demix himself. Sorry, Demix. I'm thinking of Demix as the metal. You don't survive Marluxia's first initial hit. The one he flies in the air and you see the symbol go over your character. It's just not going to happen. Can't do anything about it. You can probably put a million 800, 800 plus HP traits on there. And that will work, but it's not happening. So, this is the round you guys are able to tank it. And in the stream, a lot of people told me that he's able to crit you. So, if you don't survive this, it's most likely he did a crit and you lost because of that that's just something we went through in stream i don't know if it's true or not that the crit matters or not but a crit does mean more damage so look at the attack he does watch the now the number that hits you 330 1171 so even with the crit it looks like i survived so it's mainly for quest 13 a mixture between mrs incredible and violet or if you just have demix you don't need extra attack on any of these metals because demix carries over for the five turns so by round one you're gonna die doesn't matter what buffs and debuffs you do you're gonna die no matter what and round two his buffs carry over and debuffs and that's when you start surviving that you need it so demix doesn't need extra attack you don't need to copy it you just need it there put a defense boost four max on him put a second chance on him 
all depending on what your buffer already has, but you need one of each. So now we're at 18,479. He's going to do his death move again over here. Going to kill us. 2 million damage with all this. And my second chance goes off. I don't have second chance 2, 3, or 4. I have a second chance on Mrs. Incredible for some reason. But you guys are going to see, we're going to go through. Um, this is going to do another hit. And the next move, we can survive. If I continue to do this, I'm going to end up killing him here. And then I can't really show you guys. Let me see how much I can get through before killing him. At least I think I can kill him here if I use my supernovas. So I'm not going to use my supernovas. I'm going to let it play through. So far, we've lost HP recovery first turn. Second turn, we tanked it. Third turn, we second chance. And now this is turn four. So on turn four, we should be able to tank this again. Um, you might be able to tank the Rosebuds and his attack as well. If you have all this, yeah, you can probably tank everything if you have it. So you don't have to worry too much about the Rosebuds. But that is turn four now. Let's go to turn five and see what happens on turn five. I didn't use Mrs. Incredible there, which is a big mistake. Uh, but let's just go through the taps and see what attack he does. He does this, which means that, yeah, that was your last round one right there. It could be your last round. He might do the change up there. I don't know. I never went that far. I killed him during that round. But you pretty much have extra turns if you use the defense boost strategy. So two extra turns, take away an attacking medal, bring in a defensive medal, two defensive medals, just as long as you have enough damage in your three to four medals. You don't need all this either. You can bring in probably something else over here to defend if you really need to defend yourself with other medals. But the thing is, Incredibles, they are not new. So if you're new to the game, this isn't going to help you. If you miss Demix, this and this, then you're going to need some other way to do this. And that's why I say, well, if you can't beat it with your own tanking medals, take away the tanking medals, bring in your best seven star medals that you can for this. And then what you do is on your friend metal bring in demix because demix will help you to survive so i'm gonna let this part fast forward to see if we survive and beat him i never tried it this way we'll see if this works i'll let you know in just a second but it looks like i don't have enough power so i actually finished recording the video and i had it all together and i had some stuff playing in the background and this setup actually worked for me so i took away the illustrated invisible added a metal that raises the enemy's counters because I was just one turn short. What ended up happening was the invisible uh, that you guys saw with 3000 uh, HP bars. He ended up triggering the counters on the enemy. So what happened was obviously he went into his big move that he does million of damage and I can't tank it. So I'm going to fast forward this. I'm going to let you guys see what exactly happens. All right. So this is one of the last rounds. My second chance ready went off. HP recovery went off. So this is going to be one of his two attack swings that don't really kill us because of the friend Demix. And he's got 11,335 left. So this is where I was talking about that I got enough damage here to beat him. All I have to do is raise his counters. So if you guys do have that metal that raises counters plus 5, plus 10. And that's why I said nominate is pretty good. Because what you guys do is pull for nominate. Put nominate where that VIP metal is. And put second chance on her or defense boost 4 max depending on what your buffer has. And make a copy one of your really good high score challenge medals. But that let me beat it even without using Sephiroth's Supernova ability as well. So there was more than enough damage here to do that with a friend Demix. But there is two different ways you guys can do this. Uh, definitely I'll be looking for more. I'll be testing this out. Be doing my free to play account run. So you guys can see how my free to play beats this. It's nowhere as near as strong as my main account. I just wanted to give you guys some helpful tips that might help you out. Obviously having that combo pet uh, rank 11 is going to make a big difference. And like I was saying... Uh, for that nominee, nominee is a good banner. Two tier six to sevens and nominee can help during this event. It can make your random attack medals do better. Your Zach B, if you seven star them, will now be AOE killing all the rosebuds, including the one in the middle. Because medals like Supernova Sephiroth, medals like your Key Art Primes, uh, those tier fives of Roxas versus Shion, Roxas versus Riku, they all deal more damage with one enemy left. So they aren't doing the best of damage right now. So if you guys do have uh, maybe some upright magic medals, let's say upright magic seven star, and it doesn't have to be uh, the prime medals. The only thing the prime medals don't do multiple hits, but you do have medals like this deals eight hits. If somehow you bring up the counters, they do more damage than the prime medals when there's an AOE group. So 
you could do something like that instead but again it's better to bring in those metals that are prime metals because they ignore the enemy's counters it's just you got to fool around for a bit now uh, that's pretty much everything we did during stream uh beat on my main account because of that turtling strategy i just didn't have enough brute force or at least i didn't look for enough brute force in my setup to do it maybe i'll probably do it eventually show you guys on the video I don't know doesn't seem really worth it i'd rather help you guys with some strategies but this is the first and hopefully we can come up with more strategies as a community if you guys want to leave anything down below um please do so it's one of those events where if people are able to pass the whole thing that's 5,000 jewels if not don't worry about it if you only make up to rank number 10 you still got a lot of jewels out of this so don't be discouraged that you can't beat the whole thing eventually you will be able to just got to look through everything you do, make sure you're saving jewels for the proper banners, so on and so on. But again, if you want to leave anything down below, your setups, you sub slots, your attack boost. Another thing, make sure you have attack boost 7s and attack boost 8 maxes on your medals or you're not going to do as much damage as other people. That could be the difference from losing and winning. Make sure all your attack boosts are up to date. We have Fantasia Mickey B's. No, sorry. We have Mickey Avatar boards that have 7 and 8 max on it. And we have previous Avatar boards that also have an 8 max on it. So you have enough 8 and 7 maxes to make a full Keyblade setup of attacking metals. Especially since you only need 3 to 4. You can just buy the 2 Mickey ones. And that's 2 8 maxes and 2 7 maxes. Don't put them on something right away until you know that's the metal you are using for that setup. Again, leave down below a setup that you use, sub slots, keyblade level, and attack boost maxes are on those. Just try to put as much information as possible to help people out during this event. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.